I want to talk about Twitter. Okay. Because <laughs> because I have to tell you, I follow you on Twitter. Ooh, it's always an adventure. <laughs> you're, 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 you're such a lovely, warm man. Yes. And sometimes when I see some of the things on Twitter, mm -hmm. it feels like a different person. Yeah, it's like it the feels kid, like a kid from the projects <laughs> is suddenly on Twitter. It's that. It's mm -hmm. the, okay, it's mm -hmm. East New York training. Yes, it so is. So the East New York kid is on Twitter. Absolutely. <laughs> because it's, yeah. it's volatile. It's so aggressive. Yeah, you, and you really sort of let people have it. Yes, because I really believe that, like, Look, there's nothing wrong with, um, it's, it's wonderful that each artist has their way of interaction and, and each person has their way of what I call the rising above, right? Uh -huh. Instead yeah. of going down and meeting right. the person. It's completely respectable and respectful and that's great. Yeah. That's not my way. Yeah. Uh, I am a fighter and uh -huh. that's who I am. And when, when, when some, it's, it's really all about how someone comes to me, uh -huh. how someone presents themselves to me. Mm -hmm. And then I pick and choose if I want to engage or not. And sometimes I'll ignore it. And then other times, it's like, no, you know what? Come here. Let's have it out. I didn't say anything. No, not you. Oh, not you. Not you. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, whoever yeah. it is. Uh -huh. because, because honestly, at a certain point, it's how I grew up. It's like at a certain point, you got to stop getting beat up. Uh -huh. You got to stop taking the punches. Because you're not a, I'm not a punching bag. None of us mm -hmm. are. So if you're gonna keep coming at me that way, well, at some point, I'm gonna come back. Now what are you gonna do? Now you have my attention and it's negative. Mm -hmm. And we're not just talking about politics. Oh, it's everything. It's life. I get. I mean, I get dragged for being openly gay. I get dragged for my ethnicity. I get dragged for um, being openly HIV positive. Yeah. I get dragged for my cancer journey. I, I you know, it was, the, the most ridiculous thing was a, a, an engagement I had around raising money for Covenant House. And I was getting attacked because I was supposedly helping to support gangsters. And I was like, wow, okay, Twitter, let's all take a time out. But you, <laughs> but, but you don't want to get out of the ring. You don't want to no. leave Twitter. You want to stay in the ring and let, yeah. let them know. Yeah, I mean, because it's, it's also, you know, there's, there's, there's a balance to it, right? There's, I don't have to engage in Twitter all the time at all. And, and there are times where I don't. I'll mm -hmm. go plenty of time right. without even bothering. And then right. I'll come back and be like, in your face again. You know, whether it's, it's something, given the administration we're living under at this moment, and the election and everything that's happened up until this, this time, if you're fortunate enough to not have a target on your back, mm -hmm. that's really lovely right. but, um, and, and good for you. I have multiple mm. targets on my back as a minority, as part of the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. as someone living openly with HIV, and there's only so much I'm going to witness happening without getting in the fight mm -hmm. and getting in the fight. I don't do it halfway, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna get in there and I'm and like, like don't call me into the room to engage mm -hmm. if you don't wanna go there because I'm right. going to. Right. And because I really am, we've come so far mm -hmm. in the LGBTQ community. We've yeah. come so far with HIV and AIDS. We've come so, far in all these ways, how dare anyone try and push us back? No. Mm -hmm. And so I will stand up and I will be right. that guy who's going to get in the fight and get scrappy.